Do you wish you had the freedom of working at any time from anywhere? Having a remote job allows you to do just that. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five easy work from home jobs perfect for college students or anyone who wants the freedom and convenience a work from home job offers. And before we get into the content, if you wanna know my number one recommendation to make money online, go ahead and click the first link in the description. And if you like videos about entrepreneurship and online marketing, make sure to hit that subscribers button and hit that notifications bell. What's going on guys, Eric Ellis Jr. here. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into the good stuff. So five easy work from home jobs that you can do as a broke college student or a broke kid or anybody, right, who's watching this video, this is going to be a bit of benefit for you, right? So number one is creating a service-based business. It's very simple, right? The reason why I wanted to make that number one is because creating a service-based business is the easiest business model to get started in if you have zero capital, meaning if you're dead broke and you really don't have any money, but you do have the courage to actually go out there and try to acquire uh, customers or clients, right? You can create a service-based business. So all the service-based business is supply and demand. Finding a problem within the marketplace, figuring out how you can solve that problem, and then creating a service-based business around that. An example is social media marketing. If people don't know how to acquire customers for their social media businesses, you can literally look online and figure out how to actually do that for people and then acquire clients who actually need that done. Or social media management. You can create a social media management agency. If people or small businesses do not want to go in and manage their, uh, their social medias, but they know that it's uh, crucial when it comes to business, right? You can go ahead and solve that problem, right? So with that being said, all you have to do is you can literally start, start off by yourself a sole proprietor and literally figure out what problem you want to solve, figure out where you can find those people who need help solving that problem and then reach out to them, whether it's Facebook, whether it's going business to business, whether it's phone calling people, just hustling and bustling, acquiring those customers and helping them out, right? Number two is Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is literally just tapping into the Amazon marketplace. So essentially you find a product, right, uh, that you wanna sell, and then you go ahead and get it listed on Amazon. They'll actually handle it and they'll store it within their office space and all, any sales that you generate it or generate right through your Amazon listings, they'll literally go ahead and fulfill those orders. So you don't have to deal with any of the fulfillment. Literally, you buy the products for low, get it listed on Amazon, sell it for high, you take the profits, you reinvest into your business and you scale that business, right? So that's called Amazon FBA or fulfillment by Amazon. Number three is day trading. Um, one marketplace that's really hot right now is the foreign exchange market. It's actually a trillion dollar marketplace and it's simply capitalizing off of whether uh, it's good or whether it's bad, meaning in the marketplace, if let's just say, uh, the, the economy right now is terrible, right? You can still make money. If the com ec economy is booming right now, you, you can still make money. You're literally making money off of the fluctuation of currencies, right? So if you want more information into that, just do your due diligence, look into it. For the foreign exchange market or, or forex training, I'd highly look, recommend looking into that. Number four is drop shipping. Drop shipping is basically e-commerce, right? But uh, e-commerce meaning uh, selling physical products online, but the cool thing with drop shipping is, is you don't have to have any inventory. So with that being said, um, it's kind of like uh, fulfillment by Amazon, Amazon FBA, but with Amazon FBA, you have to purchase the inventory. When it comes to drop shipping, it's a lot less risk because you don't have to actually purchase inventory, right? So with that being said, you can literally go ahead and use or leverage something like Shopify. And with Shopify, you go ahead and create a store, you find products in uh, China, right? So you, you find somebody who can actually, uh, who has the products, uh, and basically, I believe Alibaba is, is what most people use for that. And what happens is you find a way to get people to that store, whether it's Facebook ads, influencer ads, or whatever. And once people go to your store, they, if they do like your, your products and they actually decide to buy your products, let's just say they spent $20. With that $20, you can literally go ahead and spend $5 wherever you found those products that you listed on your website. You ship it to that person. So out of the door, you spent maybe like $7. 
But at the end of the day, they spent $20, so you keep the spread of $13 and you scale up that business, right? So the cool thing about that is that you don't need any inventory. And number five is my favorite affiliate marketing. You don't need any inventory and you don't have to handle fulfillment, right? So basically, you can actually sell digital products online. You don't have to own the products. Other people own the product, so it's kind of like drop shipping. The only difference is, is that they don't have to be physical products, number one. So you have much higher profit margins. And number two is when it comes to affiliate marketing, you don't have to deal with the fulfillment, meaning you don't have to fulfill those orders. The affiliate marketing people will handle that. So it's kind of like Amazon, FBA, and drop shipping, and there's no physical products, right? They handle the fulfillment. You don't own the product, you don't have any inventory, so it's like the best of both worlds. And it's basically high profit margins because you don't have to deal with um, physical, tangible products, right? So there's no cost of goods. It's literally digital products. And you can leverage stuff like ClickBank or JVZoo, but there's a whole bunch of affiliate marketing products that you guys, that you guys can find online that you guys can promote as an affiliate. So you simply find a niche, find products to promote, figure out how to promote them. The sales that you generate, you'll go ahead and get paid a commission. So with that being said, those are the num five uh, recommendations or five work from home jobs that are pretty easy and pretty simple to start um, and just whether you're willing to take action or not right so with that being said figure out which one of those you feel would be the best for you if you have one yourself that I didn't mention go ahead and comment that down below and last but not least I appreciate you guys for uh, watching this video your boy checking out if you like that video, be sure to like, comment, and share. And also be sure to smash that subscribers button and notifications bell to join Wolves Nation. Lastly, if you're tired of working a 9 to 5, you want to be your own boss. You want to travel the world, create a life by design, or even just the freedom to work whenever and wherever you want. Make sure to check out my number one recommendation to make money online by clicking the first link in the description. And I want to thank you for spending your valuable time with me. I know you could be spending it somewhere else. So thank you. And until next time, your friend and mentor, Eric Ellis Jr., checking out.